At 7.15 a.m., aboard the Enola Gay, the bomb is armed. Green safety plugs are replaced with red. Little boy is ready. Lieutenant Morris Jepson reports. The crew climbs to 31,000 feet. Below them, Hiroshima wakes to a bright summer morning. Workers board crowded trams. Children hurry to school. Farmers set out for the fields. Earlier that morning, an air raid warning sounded, but was lifted quickly when only a few American planes were seen overhead. Many assume the danger has passed. It has not. At 8.09 a.m., the weather plane straight flush radios back. Cloud cover less than three-tenths. Advice. Bomb primary. Colonel Tibbetts gives the word. It's Hiroshima. Little boy. At 8.15 a.m., Bombardier Thomas Farabee takes control. Through his Norton bombsite, he lines up the Oi Bridge, a distinctive T-shaped span in the heart of the city. I've got it, he calls. Seconds later, bomb away. Little boy drops from the bay doors.